I'm excited to announce today that Dr. Mikel Gion and his team have used our Spitzer Space Telescope to determine that there are actually seven Earth-sized planets orbiting the nearby TRAPPIST-1 star about 40 light years away. What's more, as you can see in this illustration, is that three of these planets, marked in green, are in the habitable zone where liquid water can pool on the surface. In fact, with the right atmospheric conditions, there could be water on any of these uh, planets. So for the first time, we found as many terrestrial planets around a single star. And that's the first time we have been able to measure, in addition to that, both the masses and the radii of these habitable zone type Earth-sized planets. In my opinion, this is the most exciting discovery we've had yet with Spitzer and its 14 year, almost 14 years of operation. As you can see in the graphic, uh, the initial discovery of the TRAPPIST-1 system was by the TRAPPIST telescope in Chile in 2016. And it, immediately after that, we started doing intensive follow-up with a lot of ground-based telescopes and more than 20 days of observa continuous observations with Spitzer. And what we're able to find is that we confirmed two of the planets that were found in the initial discovery and then found five more planets for a total of seven planets in the system, which is, which is pretty exciting. If you look at this illustration, you see uh, the comparison between a basketball and a golf ball. Well, in our case, the, the basketball would be the sun and the golf ball, it would be TRAPPIST-1. So TRAPPIST-1 is much cooler, much smaller than our sun. And so the planets it's in its habitable zone are much closer to it, very close to it, with very short orbital periods. And in the, this graphics, what you can see are the planets uh, which are around, which were found around TRAPPIST-1, with the three of them which are in the habitable zone, so, or so-called the Goldilocks zones, where liquid water could exist, is the most likely to exist at the surface of a rocky planet. The discovery gives us a hint that finding a second Earth is not just a matter of if, but when.